Okay, first up, we're gonna need some paintbrushes and a pencil. We're gonna need watercolor, palette, red paint or any color, white paint for sure, a rag, and clean water. For this next part, we need a ruler. It doesn't need to be a straight edged ruler, though it does help a lot. This ruler will do too. We're gonna measure down one inch, across three inches. Out, we're gonna measure 11 and a quarter. That's that second longest line. total of five boxes. Each one of those five boxes are two and a quarter. Again, second longest line. Grabbing our palette and our white paint, we're going to shake it up first, pouring the most, a little less, less than that, and the absolute least. Grabbing any color paint, fill a hole well up. Using a little crud brush, we're gonna dip some water on it. Grab a whole bunch of red, dip it into the smallest amount of white. Really make sure to stir it up here, making sure all white parts are gone. We're gonna take a whole doll up here and dip it into the next smallest white. Making sure all white parts are gone, dollop into the next white well. Clean that brush off, making sure all white is gone. Taking a rather uh, big scoop here, dip it into our last white. Mix it really nicely. We can section these off in twos with our hand to notice the difference and make sure that indeed they don't all look alike. So here we're gonna begin painting. We're gonna wanna make sure that our paintbrush is always headed toward the line we don't wanna cross. Clean our paintbrush in between colors. That just helps to maintain that true color for the next one. Again, always push your paintbrush toward the line you don't want to cross. Always filling in those edges and then working our way in. We're going to conclude with the truest red. Again, paintbrush toward the line you don't want to cross. Wow, now look at that. You didn't even tape off and you have straight lines. Make sure to sign and date your work. This is very important. Happy painting.